Hello, I am Seamus Dunahu of Eve University, and this video is about stacking penalties. But don't worry, I will continue with my series of videos on electronic warfare, uh, but we need to cover stacking penalties first because stacking penalties affects a bunch of other game mechanics in EVE Online, including the other forms of electronic warfare, sensor dampening, target painting, and tracking disruption. So stacking penalties, first you need to understand that a lot of effects in EVE Online are multiplicative in nature. So very often the modules that you fit to your ship will have certain baseline numbers, uh, and then these numbers will be affected by multiplicative factors. It'll be multiplied by this because of one skill, it'll be multiplied by that because of a different skill, it'll be multiplied by this other thing because of the ship that you're flying and your skill level for that ship so on and so forth. And it might be even be multiplied because of other rigs and modules that you have fit onto the ship. So taking the turrets that I have fit to my Thrasher Destroyer, these are 250 millimeter light artillery cannon ones. So if we take a look at this, if I show info on that turret type from the market, then the show information window is going to show me the baseline numbers for the stock version of that module before any bonuses come into play. So for example, the 250mm light artillery cannon 1 starts off with a weapon accuracy score of 80. Uh, the weapon accuracy score is an attribute on a turret that describes the turret's ability to hit moving targets and to hit small targets. Basically, the smaller the, the, smaller the target and the more that it's moving to the side relative to your line of fire, the better a weapon accuracy score your turret is going to need in order to hit that target. So this particular turret type starts off with a weapon accuracy score of 80. Right. Uh, the turrets as fit to my ship, and I have these in two groups, four of them using one ammo type, three using a different ammo type. I'll explain why that's the case in a moment. If I show info on the module as fit to my ship, here from the fitting window and I click the show info button. Now the show information window will show the numbers as it actually pertains to my vessel. So this 250 millimeter light artillery cannon one has a weapon accuracy score of 180 rather than the stock version of 90. What's going on here? It's a set of, it's a series of multiplicative factors. The first one being one of the skills that I have in the gunnery category, namely motion prediction. Where did it go? Here we go. Improved ability at hitting moving targets. 5% bonus per skill level to weapon turret tracking speeds. And I have motion prediction trained to level 5, so that's a 25% bonus. In other words, that's a 1.25 multiplier. Right. Uh, the next thing is I'm flying a Thrasher Destroyer. Hold down the shift key, click the show info button, go to the traits tab. The Thrasher has a 10% bonus to small projectile turret tracking speeds for every level of Minmitar Destroyer. And I have Minmitar Destroyer, I believe that's trained up to level five. Let me scroll down. Here we go. Minmatar Destroyer level 5. So I have Minmatar Destroyer trained to level 5. That means that this is a 50% bonus to small projectile turret tracking speeds. So now we're up to 80 times 1.2. Uh, I'm sorry, 80 times 1.25 times 1.5. Finally, for the this set for this group of four turrets on the left, I have them loaded with titanium sabo. And if we show information on the charge, titanium sabo has a tracking speed multiplier of 1.2. Right? A 20% bonus to its tracking speed. So these turrets will track will have a 20% higher weapon accuracy score just because I have titanium sabo loaded as opposed to say the charges in the other group which is fusion and fusion does not have a bonus to tracking speeds. All right. So 
overall, if we grab our calculator, that's 80 times 1.25 for motion production times 1.5 because it's not fit to a thrasher and I have Minmatar Destroyer trained to level 5, then multiplied by 1.2 for Titanium Sabo. That brings us up to a weapon accuracy score of 180. When we go back, we look at these um, we look at these turrets, the ones with Titanium Sabo in them. Yes, that's a weapon accuracy score of 180. If we show in if I show info on the other set of turrets, one of the ones of fusion, it only shows a weapon accuracy score of 150. Because it doesn't get that final times 1.2 multiplier. Right? So a lot of effects in EVE Online are multiplicative. Stacking penalties has not gotten involved yet. Right? So there are other things that can multiply the weapon accuracy scores. So in my mid slots, for example, I have Tech 2 tracking computers, and I have them loaded with tracking speed scripts. So a tracking computer Tech 2 with a tracking speed script provides a 30% bonus to the tracking speeds of all high slot turrets. These do not help your drones in any way, by the way, which is why I specify your high slot turrets. Drones are effectively flying turrets in terms of their game mechanics, but they don't enjoy the benefits of things that normally affect turrets. So tracking computers uh, can improve the attributes of your high slot turrets and they're scripted for tracking speed so they focus on making your tracking speed really good so i have three tracking computers and each of them provides a 30 percent bonus you would think that's a 1.3 multiplier for each tracking computer so we take our existing 180 multiply by 1.3 multiply by 1.3 multiply by 1.3 grab our calculator times 1.3 times 1.3, you would think that it would become a weapon accuracy score of about 395. Turn on the tracking computers, so that their tracking computers need capacitor energy. Turn on the tracking computers, now we show info on the titanium, the turrets using titanium Sabo, and it's using a weapon, and it's got a weapon accuracy score of 345.5. That's not 395. 395 is not 345.5. What's going on here? This is where stacking penalties comes into play. Stacking penalties affects certain kinds of multiplicative factors. Not everything. Some quantities are not affected by stacking penalties, like say, how many shield hit points you have, or how much capacitor you have, or how much cargo base space you have. So stacking penalties doesn't affect every single attribute, <clears throat> but it does affect a lot of things that matter, including tracking speeds. So if there were no such thing as tracking speeds, these three tracking computers would indeed each be 1.3 multipliers. So it'd be 1.3 times 1.3 times 1.3. If there were no such things as tracking speeds, and if I were using a ship that had, say, eight mid-slots, I could throw on eight tracking computers, script them all for tracking speed, and I'd have eight different times 1.3 multipliers. If we did that, we'd have 1.3 to the power of eight. So these eight tracking computers would basically multiply the tracking speed of my turrets by a factor of eight. That would make them really, really good at hitting smaller targets than they were intended for. So stacking penalties is crowd control production's method for making sure that multiplicative effects don't grow insanely out of hand uh, to something exponentially large. And this is literally an exponential progression while at the same time not nerfing small numbers of modules, like say only two or three tracking computers, into the ground and being totally ineffective. Right. 
So the way tra uh, stacking penalties work, uh, let me actually show info on the tracking computer. It's scripted, so we only see the tracking speed bonus. There's no optimal, there's no fall off bonus. The way stacking penalties works is that it's going to take every single rig and module that affects the same type of attribute. In this case, we're talking about weapon accuracy scores on the high slot turrets. I don't have any rigs that affect tracking speed here. Uh, but if I did, they'd be thrown into the stacking penalties calculation as well. Uh, so it'd be under ship modifications, rigs, projectile weapon rigs. It's destroyer, so it's a small, uh, let's see, rate of fire, damage output, optimal range. Here we go. Small projectile metastasis adjusters. All right. So if I had any of these rigs fit to my destroyer, that's a tracking speed bonus of 15% or 1.15 multiplier. These are all, these, if I had any of such rigs, they would also get thrown into stacking penalties. But the way stacking penalties works is that stacking penalties is going to take every module and every rig on the ship that affects the same attribute and put them in order, naturally strongest first to naturally weakest last. Now these three tracking computers are have equal natural strengths. They're all 30% bonuses, so it doesn't matter what order the game puts them in. But if these were different uh, if these were different bonuses, like say one was a 30% bonus, one was a 25% bonus, one was a 20% bonus, then they would be put in that order. 30%, 25%, 20%. The game looks at the first module and it says, you're the stro naturally strongest module that affects the weapon accuracy scores. So you really are a 30% bonus. It looks at the second module and it says, you're the second strong naturally strongest module in line. So you don't actually operate at your full advertised effect. You only operate at 87% of your full advertised effect. So you're not a 30% bonus, you're more like a 26% bonus. Then Stacking Penalties looks at the third module in question and says, you're third in line, you're not really a 30% bonus. You don't operate at your full advertised effect, you only operate about 57% of your full advertised effect. That's about a 17% bonus to weapon accuracy scores. If I had any additional tracking computers tacked onto here, or any of the rigs fit to the ship, uh, then the stacking penalties would get more and more severe for each module. Right. If you want to read up on this in detail, uh, you can consult the UniWiki for the particular numbers. So the first module operates at 100% as advertised. Second operates at 86.9% as advertised. The third module, 57.1% as advertised, so on and so forth. Right? Uh, I have a spreadsheet dedicated to doing stacking penalties calculations when I want to double check these sorts of things. Uh, if you do, if you uh, want to do theory crafting on EVE Online ship fittings outside of the actual game, uh, I advise using uh, EVE Fitting Tool or Python Fitting Assistant. For my fellow Macintosh users, you have to use Python Fitting Assistant. EFT is not available for Macintosh unless you wrap it in an emulation layer of some sort. Uh, but whether you use EFT or PIFA, they both understand stacking penalties and take stacking penalties into account in whatever ship fits your theory crafting together as a normal matter of course. Uh, but I like to have a separate sp spreadsheet for quick and dirty calculations for stacking penalties. So here I've started off with a base value of 150. I, I keep in mind the number that I put in on my spreadsheet is the number that results after multipliers that aren't affected by stacking penalties. So a weapon accuracy score of 80 times motion prediction times Minmitar Destroyer that's 150. So I put 150 as the weapon accuracy score and I have an entire set of 
a spreadsheet for this. So here are the stacking penalties constants that you'll see in the UniWiki. All right. And these each represent 30% bonuses from tracking computers. All right. uh, so these bonuses from the tracking computers multiplied by their given stacking penalty constant gives me the actual bonus. So the first tracking computer is really a 30% bonus. The second tracking computer is only a 26% bonus. The third is only a 17% bonus. And I also can calculate the cumulative multiplier that results from that. If I'm doing this with a battleship, where I've got, uh, two, three, four, where I've got eight tracking compute eight tracking computers in the mid slots. Uh, I would very quickly find that the cumulative multiplier isn't going to go much higher than about two. So after the fourth module, I'm doubling my tracking speed. But the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth module, I'm not doing much better than that. Because their individual multipliers have been nerfed into the ground by stacking penalties. It's the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth modules in line they're only going to operate at 3% of their advertised effect or less. So stacking penalties can get pretty severe after the fourth module. I mean, by the time you get up to the fourth module, it's already pretty severe. Because the fourth module is only operating at about 28% of advertised. All right. So in a nutshell, that's how stacking penalties calculations work. Uh, I will probably make another video later on explaining how stacking penalties comes into resistance calculations uh, because that's an even more complicated ball of wax where stacking penalties comes into play. Right? Uh, but this basically suffices as an explanation for how stacking penalties affects a lot of different game mechanics. Uh, there are examples of stacking penalties working on both upwards and downwards uh, modifiers. So here you saw an example of stacking penalties working on upwards multipliers. Uh, there are also cases of stacking penalties working on downwards multipliers, such as, for example, uh, you're trying to use stasis webifiers to slow somebody down. So if your ta you and two other buddies are trying to tackle a target, and you're each using negative 50% max velocity stasis webifiers. If you've got three stasis webs, your buddy has three stasis webs, your second buddy has four stasis webs, and you're all trying to web down the same target, that's 10 stasis webifiers on the same target. Stacking penalties is gonna walk in and say, uh, numbers five through 10 are being nerfed into the ground. So it's really only the four strongest, uh, the four strongest stasis webifiers that are having an effect. So stacking penalties will work on both upwards and downwards quantities. Uh, with that being said, uh, the last thing I want to point out is any quantity, any module or rig that will be affected by stacking penalties will have this blurb. Using more than one type of this module or similar modules that affect the same attribute on the ship will be penalized. Uh, and the UniWiki will also have a table stating which types of quantities are or are not stacking penalized. So multipliers on velocity, uh, targeting range, scan resolution, these are all stacking penalized. But cargo capacity, capacitor size, shield size, those are not. All right. Uh, that is an explanation of stacking penalties. I'm Seamus Dunhu of Eve University. Thank you for watching.